Hi, I'm Dr. Lee. This section is for understanding of the various implants for breast augmentation. There are many types of breast implants. Which is the best implant out of all these products? There are two main divisions of implants according to what they are composed of. First is the cell line back type. And the other is the silicone gel. Then, which of the two was first made? It is the silicone gel. Silicone gel has the longest history. It has been in the market for the last 60 years. Cell line bag was used to gradually extend the breast skin. It can leak, therefore. It cannot be used as long as the silicone type. Why have we been using the silicone type for so long? It is harmless to our body. It can be produced in many shapes. It is similar to the human skin. And it is less expensive. In such regards, there is no substitute for silicone yet. But there is a problem. Capsular contracture can be formed. It makes the breast as hard as a stone. This is why we have the polyurethane implants and textured implants. Polyurethane net like structure on the surface of silicone gel forms polyurethane implants. Surrounding cells enter the net structure that helps to control the capsular contracture incidence rate to be less than 1%. However, it was found that microthane causes cancer when there is testing on the animals and its usage has been restricted since. In the meanwhile, texture type was produced in US. Now we know there is no evidence for chitinogenesis or polyurethane. There is still not enough evidence that texture type completely controls the contracture. Polyurethane has resistance but it is expensive and difficult to use. There is still no one right answer for which type implant to use. Let's talk about the round type and the anatomical type. Water drop implant is a term only used in Korea. The manufacturers call the anatomical type as teardrop. The reason for its production is due to the natural looking shape. In US today, many doctors think that anatomical and round type do not have much difference. But one should not ignore the difference between the body of a Western women to that of an Eastern women. Eastern women, especially in Koreans, have a thinner body and thinner fat layer. And their breasts are smaller than Western women. The implant forms the shape of small breasts, therefore, anatomical type is more appropriate to the thin Asian women. But if you already have large breasts or much fat, then there is not much difference in using the round type or the anatomical type. If you are thin, have small body and small breasts, then anatomical type is recommended. If you have much fat in the upper body and have large breasts, then there is no difference between anatomical and round type. Many are still concerned and scared about the implant rupture. This became a sensitive issue after the incidence of France with PIP. In 2012, Silmedin made a highly closely linked molecule that is high strength silicone gel and got FDA approval. This was a conceptual answer to the question what happens if the silicone rupture that has been around for a long time? It was just that Silimod got the FDA approval the quickest. It was composed of a highly cross linked gel, which did not leak, although you cut it in half.
It was a great step forward regarding safety issue. But there were those who disliked the product due to the perception that it would be harder than the conventional soft implants. They call this gummy bear implant in US. Gummy bear is an expression to describe foam stable substance. Some representatives of gummy bear implants are silimates round and anatomical type, mentors anatomical type, inspira and anatomical type from Elogan. They are formed with less chance of rupture, leakage, change in shape. So they are great for filling up upper volume and great effect on tuberous braces, etc. So they are good option for prevent breast aging. Now we can summarize. Smooth type implants are good, except for capsular contracture. With textured implants, the contracture is somewhat solved. Micropolyurethane implant is a definite solution to capsular contracture, but makes your breast feel hard. Anatomical implants provide natural look on thin women. Gummy bear implants are effective for filling up upper volume. Many doctors recommend different types of implants. Then which is the best implant for the patients? The answer is the one that a reliable doctor recommends.